Welcome to another edition of Inside Medicine. I'm your host, Doug Geinzer, the CEO of Las Vegas Heels, and we are here in the studio today with Maurice Maharaj and Dr. Snyder of Simon Med. So for those of you that are new to Inside Medicine, we broadcast live in the studio every Thursday at 10 o'clock, and you can also catch us on our Facebook page, as well as VegasVideoNetwork.com slash live. Uh, we try to bring together the leaders of healthcare here in the Southern Nevada community, talk about great things that are happening in the advancement of healthcare, new technologies that are brought into town, medical education, medical tourism, and all things medical. Today, we're going to learn a lot about Simon Med, and I think they touch on all of the subjects that we just talked about. Gentlemen, Welcome to the studio. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yeah. So if you don't mind, before we get started, let's get to know you guys a little bit. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, Maurice. What brought you to Las Vegas? What got you involved with Simon Med? Where do you come from? Let, let, let the audience know a little bit about you. Oh, there's a long story behind it, but I'll give you the short version. Um, I started with Simon Med about eight years ago in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, we had about 16 locations in Simon Med, and I ran one of the locations down there. Right now, that location is probably one of the top um, uh, producing locations that we have in the entire nation. Uh, when I started with Simon Med, uh, Dr. Simon used to come around every single day to all the sites to visit us to make sure we're doing okay, ask us a whole bunch of questions. Uh, how I got to Las Vegas uh, about two and a half, about a year ago uh, when we opened up here, uh, Dr. Simon needed someone up here from uh, the corporate office to really run and make sure we're doing things and sending the right message here in uh, Las Vegas. So uh, my wife and I moved out here, and um, here we are a year and two months now, and really enjoy here Las Vegas a lot and learning the community and learning the healthcare community, which is a very tight-knit community. Yeah. Well, welcome to Vegas. You moved from one part of the desert to the next part of the desert. Yep. Hopefully we're a degree or two cooler than Phoenix. That's what I tell people all the time. I moved to a cooler climate. And there you go. <laughs> Dr. Travis Snyder, you are somewhat of a local. You went to college here or went to med school here in Las Vegas. Tell us a little bit about yourself, your background, and what brought you to Simon Med. Yeah, so I, I went to a medical school here at Toro University in, in Henderson, and uh, then I did a radiology residency in, in Michigan State, and then I did a neuroradiology fellowship in Miami, University of Miami in Jackson Hospital. And then because of my connections to the community here, I, I came back to Las Vegas, and then I've been working for, with Simon Med for uh, – probably two and a half years now. These are the stories that we love to hear. As you know, we've got dire shortages in all areas of healthcare, and to be able to attract practitioners such as yourself, highly qualified, to come back here. So uh, <laughs> going to Toro, so what got you excited when you're at Toro? I, I do a lot of work with Toro. They're one of our biggest supporters of Las Vegas Heels. Um, what made what struck you an interest in coming back to Las Vegas? Oh, I, I didn't know that they were such a supporter. I mean, it's, it's a great school. They do a lot for the community. Um, I have so many classmates of mine that work here uh, in town. Uh, great physicians. They you know, refer to us because they know me. You know, sure. they, have, they have my cell phone number. Um, the same with a lot of referrings. I have a lot of the cell phone numbers of various doctors in the region. So if there's a problem, you know, very sick patient or something, the very urgent patient needs to go to the emergency room, there I just call the doctor directly. You know, right after if I if I have their number. Um, and so um, yeah, it's a it's a it's a great school, and and I think that it. It's uh, we, we, I work a lot with the students. Um, this summer, we have I have about 15 students that are doing uh, research projects oh, right on. with Simon Med and uh, on advanced brain imaging uh, for head trauma mostly, um, yeah. also uh, carbon monoxide poisoning. There's a case reports where we, I'm very focused on research, uh -huh. um, and uh, we have some exciting papers coming out. That's Awesome. I just I love hearing stories about what brought people back to Las Vegas because we just uh, Las Vegas Hills was deeply involved in the expansion of graduate medical education. And 67 percent of doctors will stay where they do residency. And so we're trying to figure out how do we get that number a little bit higher and those that leave because Toro's most recent class, they I think only 32 of them are staying in Las Vegas for residency. How do we capture the other a little under a hundred to come back after. So I want to talk to you a little bit later about what brought you back. It's a tough, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's complex and it's a tough question, but yeah, we'll talk. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So I want to learn a little bit more about Simon Med, your mission, right. what brought you here. Uh, there's a big story behind Simon Med. Tell us a little bit about the background and the mission and the purpose. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so Simon Med started in 2003 in Scottsdale, Arizona by Dr. John Simon. Uh -huh. um, when we, st we uh, got to Las Vegas about two years, two and a half years ago, and we currently have about uh, over 100 sites throughout the nation. Wow. So we're, we have a big national presence uh, uh, within the United States. 
Uh, Samimet is a national leader for uh, radiology, outpatient radiology, and we're probably one of the largest outpatient radiology companies in the nation right now. Uh, we offer advanced imaging for low cost yep. uh, with uh, great technology, uh, subspecialty rads like Dr. Snyder, neuroradiologists, and um, convenient locations here in the Valley for our, our patients. Uh, we employ highly trained medical staff, uh, making sure that they're dedicated to our patient care. Uh, that's uh, really important to us, our patient care. Uh, we uh, you know, should expect very uh, quality reports from all of our radiologists and also that Simon Med uh, is a company that's going to work with our referring providers, our patients, to make sure they're getting the best experience and the best quality imaging yeah. that they can. How many centers do you have? Uh, right things? now we have about seven centers, and oh, we're wow. looking to expand uh, in the next year or two uh, to even more. Um, our model is to make sure that we, we are conveniently location for the patients. Yeah. Uh, right now it's so hard for patients to get to uh, these locations because they're so sporadic throughout the valley. So we want to make sure and put them in the, in the right areas for our patients and making it convenient for the patients. This helps the referring providers because that continue of care, making sure the patients follow up with their exams, uh, getting it same day and next day is extremely important. Yeah, well, we all like to seek care close yeah. to home. Yeah, yes. <laughs> so <laughs> you started in Phoenix. Yeah. Hmm? With one center, how many centers are in Phoenix now? You got over a hundred. Oh gosh, uh, around the, the around the country. How many are in Phoenix, I, and what other areas are you I, serving? I want to think. I want to say we have uh, over fifty-five to sixty locations. Oh in my Phoenix gosh, right now that's big, and that's serving about four point five million people. Uh, here in Las Vegas, we're at uh, like seven centers, and there's yep. about two point two million people here in Clark yep. County. Uh, we have Florida, uh, okay, and Orlando and Tampa, nice. and Northern California, Southern California, uh, Colorado. And we're looking at other states. Relocation destinations. Yeah. That's what we call <laughs> places where people want to be. Yeah, yeah. Not out of the Rust Belt, where we're both from, where people try to move from. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Very good. So I, I, I think there's, I saw a video yeah. that I'm going to have Nick, our producer, uh, play for us. It really dives deep into the mission of Simon Med and allows Dr. Simon to give that. So Nick, if you could cue that video up, please. Thank you. Patient care and satisfaction of our employees goes hand in hand. One of the most amazing things for me is what we do for our community. What I love most about my job is being able to serve the community, uh, to take care of people. My most rewarding part of the job is just educating the patients um, in any aspect that they need. So you have to remember and you have to put yourself in that patient's position and, and, and just be as professional but as kind as you can because that could be your mother, that could be your sister, that could be your daughter. You know, we'll be at an event. Patients will come up and basically tell you that Simon Med caught their cancer early, um, that Simon Med saved their life. What a great video. Um, you know, a lot of people don't realize how important radiology is until you need it. Um, and when you need it, you need it right then and there. So what separates Simon Med from some of the others? What makes you different? You know, there are a couple of things that make us different. I think the number one thing that I would put out there is our, our, our customer service, uh, how we are very customer service oriented. You know, as you saw from the video, uh, we take pride in making sure that our patients uh, are taken care of and they are communicated to and making sure that they know what they're, they're going through. You know, people come to uh, radiology and if it's their first time doing a CT scan, or MRI, or nuclear medicine, they don't know what's happening. So our staff is very keen on that, making sure that we're explaining the exams, making sure that we feel comfortable, and make sure when they leave there, they, they, they're coming in and we're offsetting their nervousness and bringing them out, making sure they get good quality. Uh, we have seven convenient locations throughout the, the valley. Um, it's important, like I said earlier, to have those locations throughout the valley. Subspecialty trained RADs, such as Dr. Uh, Snyder uh, here, a neuroradiologist, very important for us to have subspecialty trained RADs, so whether it's MSK, pediatric, neuroradiology, all of those are important to make sure that the patients know when they come to Simon Med, they're getting a quality read from a quality radiologist. Uh, low cash prices for our patients who don't have insurance. I think there's a big pop, uh, part of the population that they just can't afford insurance. And so we try to uh, mitigate that by offering the lowest cash prices here in the Valley. Uh, comp complimentary transportation for all of our patients uh, when needed. That's uh, important. Yeah, That's a barrier important. to care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, 
I don't like taking the bus in the middle of summer at 110 degrees. So <laughs> us sending a complimentary transportation to our patients really helps them make sure they're getting their exams done. And have so are all the vehicles wrapped in the Simon Med? I love your vehicle. Yeah, we, have a, we have a couple <laughs> pink ones, yeah. You know, we're, 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 we really uh, focus a lot, too, on breast cancer awareness. So and we'll talk a little bit about it a little later. Uh, a couple of things I think that uh, is important to us is the same day next day appointments. Yep. You know, patients have to wait two and three weeks to be able to get in. Uh, in, in some cases. At Simon Med, we strive to make sure getting those patients in right away, uh, whether it's that same day or next day. Barring any insurance uh, issues or anything like that, we get our patients in right away. We may not be able to get you in right next to the one right by your house, but we'll get you in somewhere. And that's what we strive to do. Um, and, and it means the uh, the radiologists sometimes have to stay late, but, yeah. that, but that's okay. <laughs> hey, hey, we do what we have to do. Uh, we are a national company, um, Doug, and uh, with that comes the benefit of utilizing uh, from our different areas any advanced technology that they have come across, and we share it with all of our regions, making sure that we're, we're bringing the best to Las Vegas and taking it from other uh, regions and bringing the best to Las Vegas, too. Um, that's what we're trying to do here in Las Vegas, bring another option for patients and providers, uh, but bring quality to Las Vegas. That's awesome. Dr. Sonner, you're a subspecialist. Do you float between all of the facilities? Are you located in one, and do the patients come to you at one facility? Because I imagine some of that's got to be equipment or uh, magnet-driven. I, I, I don't know. Yes, uh, so I'm at. Uh, I'm mostly in the Summerlin area. We mm -hmm. have other, there's, there's five or six radiologists that work for Simon Med here in town, uh, yeah. all local. Um, and, and mostly I'm in the Summerlin region and covering contrast in case a patient has a reaction. We want to have a radiologist on site in case there's a, which I've actually never really seen that since I've been here. We've never had a, a problem. But, um, and also I do procedures. So we do arthrograms um, okay. and, and other types of procedures. So I, I have to be at the, the centers for that. Um, so, so you guys really have a lot of subspecialists. You focus on that higher level quality of absolutely. care. Absolutely. That's cool. So talk a little bit about the advanced benefits because a lot of it comes down to the equipment, to the magnets, to really, you've got some of the best equipment out there. Talk a little bit about that. Absolutely. Um, I'm going to talk about from my, my own experience. Uh, I'm mildly claustrophobic when it comes to MRIs. So we have a couple machines at Simon Med that are wide bore MRI machines. These are 3T MRI machines, 3T meaning the strength of the magnet. Um, it's the highest level uh, right now out in diagnostic radiology uh, utilized for uh, 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 imaging for M MRIs. Uh, the, the circumference or the diameter of that particular machine is a lot bigger than your typical uh, MRI machine. Um, uh, matter of fact, you could fit maybe two of me in one of those machines. A big maybe NFL player could fit in one of those machines. So for patients that are, are, have that uh, fear of coming in for claustrophobia, not being able to go into that uh, MRI tube, um, that one's a CT, but um, it's as big as that. Yep. Uh, it makes it a lot more comfortable experience for them. Uh, when it comes to uh, patients that are grossly uh, uh, claustrophobic, we have the stand-up MRI. And that's a two-fold uh, machine. It helps us uh, utilize uh, weight-bearing MRIs for patients that uh, doctors that want to see their patients in a weight-bearing uh, position. And also patients that are grossly claustrophobic. It's yep. wide open. They can get in there, and there's nothing in front of them except a TV watching a TV. So that's really, really good. Uh, when it comes to our CT machines, we have about uh, five different CT machines. Uh, two or three of them are 128 slice CTs. But what's the biggest differentiator of all of that is the fact that we utilize software to help us lower the radiation dose. Uh, with CTs, I always consider a CT X-ray on steroids. Um, mm -hmm. So they put out a lot of radiation. Uh, what Dr. Simon has afforded us to do with, with this software is bring that dose, that radiation dose down up to 80% in some cases. Uh, when doing a CT scan. Um, CT scans are, are very quick, uh, but they put out a lot of radiation. Um, one of the things that we focus too on is our, our breast imaging. We have 3D mammogram machines at all of the sites that we do mammogram. On top of that, we have something called a um, automated breast volume scanner. And this is utilized for patients with dense breasts. This is more of a screening, uh, a 3D screening ultrasound for patients that want to go that extra step. Um, mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, we run specials on that all the time. You get your mammogram at Simon Med, you get that done for free too as well. Yep. Uh, so we do offer free screening mammograms through uh, the Breast Cancer Awareness Month, October. And last May, uh, we did we partnered up with Coleman and we did the same for, for the month of May, free screening mammograms for patients who can't afford it, patients who have uh, don't have insurance, uh, just don't have the means. So it's important to us. Um, a couple other things that we have, Dr. Snyder could probably talk a little deeper about was a DAT scan and DAT quant and 
Elysian quant and neuro quant. I look at these words yeah. and they <laughs> confuse me. So, Doc, can you shed, give us like the, the, the lowest version here. We all like to speak in a fourth grade uh, vocabulary level. So what does that mean? Sure. Well, I mean, maybe I should expand a little bit on more what Maurice was saying about the difference between us and our competitors first. Uh, and so one of the reasons that I joined uh, Simon Med and, and what the benefits, I think, of Simon Med is compared to some of our competitors is we do extra imaging. So so when you come and get a scan here, you're in the scanner for longer, mm -hmm. but you get more more views, more sequences we with higher detail. So the scans that we do uh, are thinner section. So mm -hmm. some places do four millimeters or five millimeters or even six millimeters thickness slices. Um, a lot of times, I mean, it depends on the scan, but in some cases we're doing two millimeter thickness slices, which means basically like if you're looking at if the lens of a camera, the lens is, is better and clearer. So we do very thin and it allows us to pick up, particularly in neuroimaging, uh, but all, all other imaging as well, pathology, uh, more pathology. And we do, um, for example, if you come in to have a knee MRI and you're worried about an ACL tear, we do a, a special sequence that I don't think other uh, people do where it's an oblique view through right where the anterior cruciate ligament is in the knee. Those are big words. ACL. ACL. <laughs> it's, it's, ACL. It's, the largest, yeah, ACL. it's the largest ligament in the, uh, in the knee. But we do a special view right through it so that we can diagnose a tear. With the shoulders, we do this view called the Aber view. And it's where the, the patient has to extend in the magnet in a certain way, uh, but allows us to look at the labrum better. And that's an imaging, <clears throat> that's something that's, that, as far as I know, is only really done consistently at Simon Med. For spine imaging, we do this sequence, which is a, it's a, a sequence which brings out edema. It's called a stir sequence. So it brings out if there's swelling in the in the muscles or in the bone, um, and it's it's an extra sequence, and 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 we do it just to to try to help the patients and to go along with uh, and we also with the brain we we use these software programs um, as Maurice was saying uh, called NeuroQuant and Lesion Quant and NeuroQuant is a program which is a a volumetric analysis of the brain. So we do a brain scan. MRI means we, you know, we scan the brain, and then the program, it looks at, it measures multiple areas of volumes throughout the brain. So it measures the volumes of different areas in the brain, and it's very valuable to assess for uh, volume loss in areas. So patients with, uh, particularly, we use it for uh, Alzheimer's disease, and in Alzheimer's disease, an area in the back of the brain will become smaller uh, in some patients than than in in, in normal patients. And so we can suggest if the if the volumetric software detects that that they you know potentially have Alzheimer's or alert the clinicians to the possibility. Uh, the hippocampus is another area of the brain that we see in, in head trauma and in other uh, areas that is decreased. So if we can measure that, it gives us a little more sensi uh, sensitivity to diagnose uh, uh, diseases. Um, and lesion quant is a software program which picks up little if you want to call them white dots that people have in the brain. And you can get them from aging, you can get them from multiple sclerosis, MS, you can get them from a bunch of uh, conditions. And this program will document those, those dots and it'll say how many there are, it'll say the volume. Um, it's very exciting stuff and it's some, those programs we're, use, we're doing research on as well. Um, and I think it adds more to patient care and it, it aids us in diagnosing uh, conditions. It's very technological. <laughs> did, I, did I say it correctly? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 that's great. I, I, I love getting that education and I think I saw a video that really defined the importance of technology to Simon Med. So, Nick, if you could uh, spin up that video, that would be great. I'm really happy to be working for a company that has the technology to save people. Um, it's important for our staff to understand to have great technology. We have to utilize it and be very efficient. Uh, I think we are probably one of the most efficiently ran uh, radiology companies around. I think that SciMed upholds, upholds its mission because it's very committed to providing top of the line technology. State of the art technology, we're always upgrading. Training is a must and keeping all staff trained on the new technologies that's coming out. I believe that Simon Med upholds their mission by always striving to be the best in class. I feel like as an organization, we're always asking ourselves what we can do better to be a superior company for our patients and our employees. Great, great video again. So Parkinson's is really, it, unfortunately, it's growing. It's, it's out there. You mentioned earlier DAT scan and DATQUANT. Dr. Snyder, what, what does that do with uh, treating or the beneficial exam for Parkinson's? How does that correlate? So a DAT scan, if, if there's a concern for Parkinson's, if your doctor has a concern, we'll come we'll get a nuclear medicine scan called a DAT scan where we inject some radioisotopes which attach to an area in the brain where um, 
becomes <clears throat> becomes damaged in Parkinson's. And so we we offer the scan, and then we have this software program that that looks at those at how it's binding, and it compares it compares that to other age match controls. And so it's one thing for the radiologist to look at it subjectively, as, as I do every day, and you say, yeah, it's decreased or it's increased. The software program gives sort of more exact numbers, and occasionally it can sway you one way or another in making the diagnosis. So it's, it's very helpful. I believe we're the only place in town that, that has that software program, and I do find it helpful to, uh, to assist clinicians in diagnosing uh, Parkinson's. And then two other big words that you used that I want to get <laughs> clarity on. So you, you brought up neuroquant and lesion quant. What are the benefits of those? So lesion quant we use uh, <clears throat> for a lot of things, but a lot of for multiple sclerosis. And then we can see if the, if the lesions are changing over time. Okay. So the program will tell you on the previous scan, this patient had 10 lesions. On the current scan, they have 14 lesions. And the radiologist also, you have to go and look yourself, obviously, to make sure the program is correct. But um, it, it can sort of aid in that. And, and, and then the neuroquant, it looks for, you know, as we talked about, the, the volumes of the areas, which will, different areas of the brain. It looks, at, it looks at over 50 regions of the brain to assess for volume loss. And depending on the symptoms of the patient, that can be helpful. And, and those, aren't, those are just a few. There's so many more advanced imaging, especially in neuro, that we do. I and mean, we have patients that fly in from all over the country for our advanced imaging protocols. We do um, perfusion using MRI. Uh, we use uh, spectroscopy which is looking at metabolites in the brain. Uh, it's, it's kind of an advanced imaging. We use diffuser tensor tracking, which looks at um, the fiber tracks. So the brain is made up of all these telephone wires, and we can get a 3D image of all these telephone wires using diffusion tensor tracking, so we can see if there's problems with that. Uh, and um, uh, we use a susceptibility-weighted sequence, um, which is for hemorrhage, which is an advanced sequence, which takes a long time to run. Um, it's an expensive sequence. Um, but we run it on patients with trauma or with with um, other conditions that uh, with strokes we run that one. So we, we for neuroimaging there's lots of extra sequences that we have that we do. We work with neurosurgeons with functional fMRI, and functional fMRI is where areas of the brain light up if you're doing a task such as auditory or visual, and we can document what areas of the brain are. Are the are functioning, and then the neurosurgeons, when they operate, they can avoid those areas, so they can plan their surgical approach based on the functional MRI imaging. And we work with neurosurgeons in town uh, to to uh, to do that. So it's it's, it's pretty great. exciting. It's music to my ears when you when I hear that you're bringing patients in yeah. uh, for care. As you know, Las Vegas Heels is uh, deeply engaged in this effort to position Vegas to become a globally recognized destination for, for health and welfare or health and and, and and benefits. So it's we're trying to get patients to travel to Las Vegas. So knowing that you're attracting patients here is awesome. So that's great. And a big part of that is research. And you do quite a bit of research at Simon Med. Tell us a little bit more about that. Well, yeah, so we, we on most of our research is focused on traumatic brain injury, and we have about 350 patients. We have an IRB through Toro, mm -hmm. and a lot of the students, we have students from other medical schools that are helping us too. We have statisticians that have done a lot of work, uh, and, and we're, we're hopefully we'll be publishing some of the largest series on some of these advanced imaging uh, that we talked about, like the diffuser sensor tracking, the neural quant. Um, there's, there's a lot of other, there's, there's been publications on these traumatic brain injury, but not in the numbers that we have. So mm -hmm. I th we, we're, hof we're hopeful that it will be, it will be uh, groundbreaking. And a lot of this was started by, um, with, by Dr. Orson, who uh, unfortunately passed away, but he was a, a big uh, proponent of this research, and he established many of these uh, protocols here in Vegas along with Dr. Simon. So it seems like there's a, a very well thought out vision of where you're heading in Las Vegas with Simon Med. Maurice, tell us, what does that look like? Um, you know, just to piggyback a little bit off on what uh, Dr. Snyder was saying, uh, a lot of the stuff that we do at Simon Med, the NeuroQuant, the uh, uh, DatQuant, the LesionQuant, there's no extra cost uh, to patients. So bringing that to, to uh, Las Vegas for patients that are really in need of these types of exams, and I would really like uh, the definitive uh, results. Um, so these aids are no extra cost to our patients, so it's important that we have that. What we're bringing to uh, Las Vegas is the quality of care. Uh, making sure that the patient experience is uh, the number one, number one thing that we focus on. And not only that, whatever advanced radiology uh, techniques or exams, we want to bring it here. Uh, like you said, we want people to come to Las Vegas to Absolutely. say, hey, I want to go to Las Vegas for my care. Um, too much I hear now, 
people are going outside of uh, Las Vegas. We want to change that. And Simon Med is a big proponent in making sure that we keep our patients here and bring other patients here too as well. well I think you're bringing in the technology. Yeah. You're clearly bringing in the talent yeah. uh, to do just that. So Absolutely. kudos to you all for all of that. And Simon Med operates on an acronym called CARE. Uh, and I think we have a video that probably yeah. speaks to that best. Nick, if you could cue up that video and, and play that video on CARE, that would be awesome. Having communication, accountability, responsiveness, and excellence is really important. I have to have a good balance of all those to be successful in my job role. We have to be responsive. I'm making sure that we're getting everything to the doctor's offices on time. It's really important to be able to listen to them and respond and make sure that they're comfortable and they receive the proper care. So communication in my field is number one. As our company grows, it's vital that we learn to communicate better and develop those lines of communication. I think without excellence, uh, the other values uh, can't really be all they can be, whether we're being the best today, tomorrow, or just changing what we do to always looking forward to becoming better and better. The most important value to me is accountability, and I think that goes for our patients as well as our uh, co-workers and employees. We want a great work ethic so people feel important and appreciated and they'll produce great quality work. And that they can handle the complicated work that we do in these increased expectations. Wow. Another great video. You can see Maurice is famous on national level, too. <laughs> <laughs> Very oh, good. Well, guys, we've covered a lot of ground here today. Right. We've talked a lot about Simon Med, the great things that are happening, uh, your working relationship with Toro, the research that's going on. Is there anything that we didn't cover that you want our viewers to know about? I think uh, from this entire Inside Medical uh, Medicine uh, segment, I think the most important thing I want our patients to know is that we care. And uh, we want to make sure that they have a good experience here. Uh, by no means are we saying we're the, the, the perfect company. Uh, we strive to be. So if there are any other questions or concerns, uh, patients can always contact me directly. Um, ask for Maurice Maharaj, uh, you know, and I'll, I'll be there for them. Uh, if there are any issues or concerns, or if they just want to give us a kudos, please, by all means, uh, reach out to us. We are part of the community, and we want to interject that into uh, not only our culture at Simon Med, but the culture here within Las Vegas is that we uh, appreciate our patients and the referring providers. So uh, any patient could get on uh, www.simonmed.com and look up all the information for Simon Med and uh, be able to schedule appointments online, uh, give us a call. Um, that's one of the most important things, I think, out of this segment. Doc, did we miss anything? I think we covered it. Okay, very good. And, and those viewers that are with us today that uh, are in the industry and want to come out and meet the folks from Simon Med, uh, we are holding a healthcare happy hour up at their facility in the Northwest, and that will be on Thursday the 19th, 530 to 730. So go on to LasVegasHeels.org, and you will be able to find that. Uh, for those of you joining today, thank you very much, and we look forward to seeing you next week on another edition of Inside Medicine. Gentlemen, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having us. Thanks, Doug. Y'all have a great day. Thank you.